Originally at DJI, we developed technologies for the creative minds. But what we realized was that our products actually can help in public safety. In 2015, uh, drones started to be an important topic for, for public safety, but at the same time, it was very much a novelty. So we had this idea at INA to start a project with, uh, with our members to foster the adoption of drones for public safety, especially for search and rescue and fire rescue. In uh, 2016, we announced the start of a deployment project which gathered DGI and four uh, pilot sites, uh, namely Iceland, Ireland, the UK and Denmark. We started using drones in 2014. Then a year or a year and a half later, Ina and DJI joined us, or we joined them. We had uh, a meeting with three other fire departments and uh, we saw from that meeting we had the same problems. We had the same benefits by using drones. I got involved with DroneSAR uh, along with a good friend of mine, Ushin McGrath, who's our CEO. And a number of years ago, we set up a training school in Ireland. So we had started to get to know the drone community and make some really, really valuable connections. One of those was Romeo Dersher. After almost a year working with our four pilot test sites, we put our learnings onto a paper and that became eventually a very well-referenced document. This has been an extremely successful uh, project uh, where we tested a series of technologies. It produced an amazing final report which has been used all over the world as a reference document for the use of drones for public safety. DJI and Ina made this white paper that we, um, that we are we are proud, I'm proud of it. How does ENA, the European Emergency Number Association, DJI and DroneSAR all come together? Uh, and really the first step in that was with the white paper that DJI and ENA brought out in the use of drones in search and rescue. ENA launched recently a startup program, Crisis Tech, and uh, we welcome the first 10 startups that um, are working on technologies uh, that could help public safety. We've had the great pleasure of coming to uh, Brussels in Belgium and working with the INA team here, figuring out what other startups that we can collaborate with and also then to work with uh, mentors. So that's been really exciting and it kicks off the next 12 months of collaboration under the Crisis Tech project what is interesting is actually 30% of all the selected startups are working on drones in public safety, which really shows the amazing interest that there is and what impact uh, drones can have uh, for the safety of people. I think we can be um, very op optimistic for the, um, for the future. The drones and the, the cameras and the sensors are getting better day by day. We've seen uh, over the last years uh, a series of great projects, uh, our project with drones and DJI, but what we've seen over the last years is um, public safety being interested in these new technologies and at the same time we see a strong involvement from those tech companies investing uh, time and resources and money into helping uh, to, to build a safer world.